Alright guys, bring you live here between Green Tea Gaming vs VG International and this is the first time I've seen VG International playing in a park game and trying to practice their lineups against the normal park team matchmaking and alright, VG look not in favour right now with GT having 6-1 over the VG International and the dire side is gonna have a reinforcement of the three heel trying to get these ducks here and unfortunately the shirts did not came in time and the nukes from the shadow fin secures the kill of the ducks here the dire might want to mine their top tower <coughs> And there will be a teleport from Lee Reeds, trying to get his 11-6 as fast as possible. And you can see the red inside trying to clear this huge stack of neutral creeps. And you'll be a messy fool towards the uh, level 6 target. And the Naga Sarah has already reached his level 6. Dyer's top tower and the short spirit is gonna get the haste rune. And with the haste rune, he will be able to rotate around the map and get some cubes with the vortex and the ball lightning combo. And seeing the CS right now, things are looking pretty evenly, but the network difference will look otherwise. Uh, nope, still pretty evenly throughout these teams, and the network difference only 2k in favor of green tea lovers, and then XP difference of 3k in favor of the green tea lovers also, because of 6-2 kills advantage over the VG International. A TP by the Shadow Fiend trying to punish the Spectre for overextending. Unfortunately, the Spectre is still gonna get a kill on the IO. And a good Ice Bar catching the Shadow Fiend, but there will be no follow ups. And Tight Hunter got killed by the Dark Seal Storm Spirit and Spectre also. Things are looking great towards Green Tea Lover right now. We're having an advantage of 6 kills over the VG International. And the Weaver trying to secure a queue for these ducks here, but unfortunately the ducks here is too tangy as hell, and he will be able to search away. Oh, a very nice snipe on this Weaver on the career. Unfortunately, it's gonna get net. And one more hit secures the queues on the Weaver. But a trade himself for the career is pretty well worth it. 175 gold in favor of all the Dire Steam hero. The Dyer best do something about that bottom tower. And the Theradian side is gonna get the tier tower. Shadowfin trying to deny and was not succeed in denying the tower. A slow being dropped by this Spectre. And he will have the av advantage of movement speed. And the Dyer side will not be able to trace after the Radiant Spectres and the Twin Head Dragon. A 2.6k already up by this Spectre, I would expect the Spectre to go for Radiance. And a Defeaser Blade after all. Trying to do some dewarding, but unfortunately the driver doesn't have any wards placed here. So 100 gold being wasted by this Twin Hack Dragon. Looking at the lineup alone, I do not know what were they trying to get use of their advantage of lineups for the Dire team, the IO together, maybe tender the Tide Hunter and use an ultimate on the Radiant side when during the team fight will be very crucial. But it will not be as advantageous and as useful as an IO with the Chaos Knight. Radiant's top tower is hurting. We were still trying to harass this Storm Spirit, but unfortunately the Storm Spirit had the Vortex and a Horn by it. 
Luckily, the weaver responded in time and tie laps away. He was so close. And Renaissance making use of the uh, line outs is going to push the tier 1 tower of the Dyer team. VG Gaming only has the Weaver and Tide Hunter to reinforce the defense of the tier 1 tower. But unfortunately, the tier 1 tower already had a very low HP. And they are most probably going to get it. IO, Sendering, the heroes of Elder Titan and try to re engage the Radiant team. But unfortunately, the Storm is not going to hit any heroes. And the Tide Hunter uses his ulti, and the Tide Hunter, Elder Titan, the level 6 skill just hit on one of the Naga Siren. But they lose Ivo in the process also. A good slow being shot by this Spectre, reducing the movement seed. But the Weaver will still be able to get the Ducks here, yes or no? No, the Ducks here is too tanky for this Weaver. And he backs off immediately. And instead, Zara is gonna push out this tier 1 tower of the Radiant team. A very good counter attack by VG International to secure their own tier 1 tower. But Radiant side is not gonna give up their tier 1 tower and is urging VG International for another team fight once again with 4 of the heroes rotating to the top, protecting this tier 1 tower. In meanwhile, the Spectre is gonna farm out his Radiance pretty soon. His Sacred Relic is just 200 go away. Trying to backstab the VG Gaming and a very good Storm just by the Centaur secures. Oh, a very good Vortex and they're gonna kill the Tide Hunter IO Sally to the top, but unfortunately, will not be in assistance or much of a hero. A horn being used by the Spectre and the Dryer team is gonna retreat back. Oh, an ice buff getting one of the heroes, Elfin, will not be able to escape the right kicks of the Radiant team and is unfortunately gonna die. But the Spectre defied. Whoa, just one more hit and one more right kick by this Weaver will secure the Q on the Spectre. Unfortunately, they are not gonna get a Q. And the Elder Titan got a Q on the Dark here. Wow, and the Spectre is gonna get his Sacred Relic. Very close there. A very close escape from the Dead God himself. This is the first time I'm seeing VG International play, so I do not know which place I'm actually playing which heroes. And VG International. Just an uh, international children will play the whips with VG Hachi Roku playing the Shadow Fin, In VG International Rattler playing the Shadow Weaver, and Grimo Snap. Very hard to read his name. Grimso Net will play the Titan Hunter, and finally the other Titan will play by Foxy. A very good defense by the Rigi International to secure his tier 1 tower, but unfortunately, he's got a, the Radiant team is gonna destroy his tier 1 tower also. And at the 19 minutes mark worth, things are looking pretty good to the squinty daily. And the Ice Path catching the shit, and the Inside Hunter, Side Hunter throws his ulti and Emelian nukes back and ulti by the Shadow Fade. And the level 6 skill used by this Elder Titan catches to the hero and killing 3 of the heroes. And Naga Siren is going to make use of his songs to de engage the fight. Well, if they actually get the Titan Hunter before he can throw out the Ravage, it will be tremendous and they will win the team fight. But unfortunately, nope, they are not going to do that. And the Weaver has just scouted on this Naga Siren and trying to get a solo kill on this Naga Siren. And just one more hit. From the IO, the kills the Q on the Naga Siren, and they're gonna push out this tier 1 tower also. Now, VG International did not do very well in the early games, but the team fight from the VG International had give them the advantage over this game.
and you can see all the huge light over the network difference and XP difference also. Just because a particular team fight that went very well for VG International. And the radiance will be picked up by this spectra and will be tremendous in team fight for very much of the assisted DPS over the VG International and the drums being picked up by this Elton Titan also. So it will be a massive movement speed boost for the Royal team to engage or disengage. The Elton Titan trying to use the extra spirit that can harass the Radiant team is it's gonna succeed in doing that. Mid tower won't last much longer. And the Radiant team is gonna push this tier 1 tower no of the Dyer team a bit being used. But they are not gonna go defend the tier 1 tower, so I don't know why they use this weeps. And the Weaver reinforcing this tier 1 tower after he had already fallen. And he's gonna get Vortex by this on Spirit. Level 6 Yuka or Ice Path catching one of the heroes, the war catching a Shadow Fin, and Special use his horn to kill the Shadow Fin. And this is a very bad team fight by VG Gaming, and the Ice Path is gonna catch the other Titan and gonna die in the process. So it's a 4 for 1 trade over in this team fight, and it's the advantage in for Green Tea Gaming. Green Tea Lover, not gaming. Wow, well, I really doubt the decision making by these people to actually engage the Radiant team when their tier 1 tower has already fallen. And he's just gonna sacrifice his life to the Stone Spirits, Vortex, and more lightning. And with this rocket being up, the Weaver can do nothing as long as this Stone Spirit decides to engage it first. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. And the TP just came right. over here. And the Storm Spirit just had a single solo kill against the Weaver. Against this IO. IO trying to do something special by telling the Weaver <laughs> to the mid lane, trying to scout out the Radiant team and hopefully getting one or two pick off. But unfortunately, the plan is gonna fail badly and him dying in the process also. Naga Siren and the Twin Head Dragon rotating to the top, trying to engage the Weaver. But Weaver, sensing the danger and disappearance of the Radiant Hero, is gonna retreat back and jungle on his own. Weaver just got a BKB. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. And sorry guys for the noisy noise over there because there's renovation being done at my house. Not my at my house, at my apartment. And what will the special area go next? He already got 2k up in his wallet. Probably a diffuser blade. Or huts. Nope, he's gonna go for a menta style. And things are looking pretty in favor of green tea lovers with a special net worth of over 4k. Over the top net worth of the Dara team, which is the Weaver, and now the Shadow Fiend. And trying to re engage this Weaver. Unfortunately, the Weaver is gonna tie that and Shakuchi away. And the, the Dust catching no heroes also. Elder Titan throwing down his level 6 here. Unfortunately, he's gonna miss. And none of the heroes just got wasted by this Elder Titan level 6 ultimate. And you can see the Radiant team still all in favor of their HP. Almost full HP is gonna re-engage this tier 2 tower. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Weaver trying to split push and split farm and that's the only thing he can do. If he gets caught by this ball lightning and this vortex he's gonna die once again to the orchid of this storm spirit unable to react anything 
And the regular guys are catching a Shadow Fin at the spawn screen we engage the BKB being used. Unfortunately, the HQ is too low for this Shadow Fin. And Tide Hunter throws his ulti, but none of the Radiant team is gonna die in their encounter. And Shadow Fin immediately is buy out. Tapio throwing an ice path, trying to block the path on the Dryer team. And there's a Weaver over here, a very good Storm and Astral Spirit by this Elder Titan. But unfortunately, the Weaver is gonna die also, and the Ice Path catching the Elder Titan. And Elder Titan is gonna die in the vacuum and the Ducks here. Just for a right click by this Radiant Dean. And a buyout and a death once again by this Shadow Fiend. And they're gonna push out their Tier 2 Tower and it's gonna push for their Rex. The Dyer might want to mine their top tower. And nope, they decided to retreat back and gonna go Roshan. Yep, they are gonna go Roshan with a given advantage and a countdown over 20 seconds of the Shadow Fiend, they will be able to get this Roshan. And with that medallion used on this Roshan, it's gonna get nuked up by this Radiant Team so fast that the Dryadin cannot do anything in response to it. And yeah, and the, the Storm Spirit is gonna pick up the AEs, <laughs> and they got just got 1000 plus gold in favor of the Green Tea Lovers. Spectra rotating back to his bot lane and try to farm out the next massive item with the Manta style. And Jakiro is gonna go for a 4 star. With our Storm Spirit gonna go, go for a Sky for Vice. And this Weaver cannot do anything in team fights as long as this Storm Spirit aims the Weaver first. With that Orchid and with after the Sky for Vice is done and the Vortex. What will the Weaver be actually able to do? Unless the Weaver can be KB in time. But the Weaver doesn't have any damage, only 120 damage. Well, this is the survivability built by this Weaver, and the Dire Team VG International will be lacking in DPS and damage. And you can see that Shadow Fin also go for a BKB. So the Dire Team is not gonna lash out enough damage. Unless we can get a very good engagement on this Elder Titan level 6 Ravage. Yeah, the Elder Titan haven't even reached level 11. And just a solo nuke horned by this Spectre is gonna injure the Tide Hunter to almost half of HP and the IO almost there. Radiant making use of their given advantage decide to push the tier 2 tower of EEG International. Yeah, things are looking pretty dire for VG International. Yeah, 29 minutes mark worth that go in favor of Vinti levels more than 15k. And SP difference more than 15k as well. Same storage to both sides. And given their advantage, we'll try to have some pickoffs on this VG International before engaging them in team fights. And instead they are rotating to the top. One thing to push this tier 2 tower also. With half of the HP gone for this tier 2 tower, they will be able to destroy the tier 2 tower. And VG Gaming, given their professionalism, will know that this tier tower will, will be gone for sure. And they will just stick behind in their tier 3. And nope, my bad. They decide to smoke and give the Radiant team a surprise attack. Very nice response and very needed response from the Dire team by VG Gaming. Dire's top towers getting beat down. And we will spot this Naga Siren first. And Naga Siren immediately throw out the song Dyer's and disengage them. And the Radiant team is gonna re engage them. With the Vortex, Cross Spirit, oh, a very good vacuum. And the Turret Light Hunter throws the ulti before anything happens, but they do not have enough DPS. But on the BKB, the Weaver is able to get. No! He just died! Oh my goodness, not even getting one kill, and the Dry team just got team wiped by Green Tea Lovers. And it's a GG being called by VG International, which didn't perform very well in this game lineup. And Green Tea Lovers take it. 
30 to 12 and the gold difference of more than 15k and XP difference more than 20k well VG International didn't make a very good debut that I have seen and this caster radio over here will be look up on them and see if they will play any games and I will be continue my cast if I actually see them playing again and alright guys thank you I will take a break right now